Well, the ability to do batch pick with Voice is great because it lets you pick more than one store at a time, which is good because you're not, it saves on walk time and you're not going back to the same slot as many times. It really is, that's a nice thing. For example, if you're going to a slot, you need 20 of them for each store. You just pick 40, 20 in one tote, 20 in another, and you're set for two stores. It really is nice and it's quite fast. We picked the light, we cannot go back to get the last pick because uh, if we do that, uh, you know, we're going to have mistakes. We picked the light, we can't find out how many picks more. We need to know how many more pieces. We have to make sure if we can put in one toe or use another toe. Yeah, another nice thing about voice is that it gives you the option to ask how much more. How much more? Seven remaining at five line items. How much more? Two remaining at two line items. The voice unit will tell you how many more items you have left to pick, which is a big help because it lets you know if you're towards the end and you can fit the rest in the container that you're working on or if you need to ask the voice unit for a new container and start over because you have a lot left for the pick. Well, I like that when I go to pick up my voice unit in the morning, I just grab it, plug it in, it's charged, ready to go. I would pick the light. We have some problems with, uh, we waste a lot of time, especially when uh, brakes, diffuses, and things like that, or any wires. So we have to be waiting for maintenance all the time. And uh, we are in production. We have to try to hurry up. It's very low maintenance. Whereas with pick to light, it needs a lot of TLC. It's rather high maintenance. Well, I like the voice unit. It's easy to pick. It does seem to cut down on the mistakes. We can do batch pick, which is faster than picking a single store. And it's comfortable to use and low maintenance.